Lovely to have you on. Thank you for joining us. I really appreciate your time. Tēnā koe, Michael. O te rā koute, everybody who's listening. Um, this has been a long-awaited interview. Chat. Oh, has it? Oh, well, listen, I, I, success is always a good thing, and particularly empirical success, and that's what the NZQA have had. Listen, just before yeah. we get into what we're going to talk about, I'm interested in you personally. Um, you've been a mm-hmm. teacher, a journalist, mm-hmm. a journalism tutor. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God, you've really gone to the dark side. Um, and um, somehow you ended up um, uh, with Nakura Kopapa. Tell me, tell me yeah. how that journey went for you. I was a teacher before I was anything else, and when I started teaching back in the um, in the early eighties, I did our um, what we called our PA years, our initial two years of training. And um, at the end of that time, I said to my boss, I was at a South Auckland Intermediate School, and I said, "Well, John, um, there is something amiss here." He said, "What do you mean?" I said, "I don't know." I said, but this education system is working for those groups, the the non-Māori kids, non-Māori, non-Pacific. I said, but it's not working for those kids, and those were the kids who predominantly I was teaching. I said, there's something amiss. I didn't know what it was. Um, so I left teaching. He was hugely disappointed. He said, you're exactly the sort of person who was, you were made for this game. I said, okay, thank you for that, John, but... Um, there's something amiss with the system. I don't know what it is. And then a few years later, I met my wife, met her cousin, Dr. Kathy Dews. She talked to us about a school that she had established called a Kura Kopapa Māori. And as she talked, as she spoke, I thought, that's it. That's the missing thing. And that was, um, you will understand, Michael, lots of people don't, but it, it was about, she talked about the pedagogy. She talked about the epistemology of that education option, which is based on Te Ao Māori, not an imported education system, but something which is, um, you know, indigenous to Aotearoa. And um, and so within Kura Kaupapa Māori, with the philosophy of Te Aho Matua, was all of the ingredients for success. And I thought, that's it. So here I am. 40 years later. No, fair enough. Okay, and you have got a prominent leadership role as well, I think. Um, can I just ask the next question, though, which is you're sort of a charter school, aren't you, really, in lots of ways? You're a school that fits outside the norm and you've taken a group can of I people. Say, uh, sorry? Charter schools are more like us. Yeah, we okay, really all right. No, fair enough, all right. But nevertheless, you share similarities, right? And that is the idea that the mainstream necessarily won't work for everybody, that you can devise particular educational schooling systems that work for a particular group or strata of people, yeah? In parallel, correct. Yeah, agreed. All right, and exactly. That's exactly what we're about. Parallel, um, um, inventive, innovative um, options, education options, and, and that's what we provide in the um, Te Reo Māori, Mātauranga, in the Māori language space um, based on our cultural upbringings. But, of course, coming back to the the root of the report, um, we are also preparing our kids to be 21st century citizens of Aotearoa New Zealand, to be able to do anything that they choose. Um, But the, the basis of their whole education is in Te Reo Māori, and from a Māori world view. So, okay. Yeah. Having said that, I mean, mass and English generally aren't having a, a, a Māori world view, are they? I mean, mass is an international language to a large extent. English, obviously. <laughs> um, Michael, did, did they, our people didn't get here by mistake. Yeah, they no, did you not. didn't invent mass, mate. I'm sorry. You, no, at no, the end no, of the day. no, no. But I'm saying um, it's not about inventing mathematics or anything like that. It's about using... Um, a mathematical and scientific approach to navigate their way here. It was not an accident that we found ourselves in Aotearoa. We came here deliberately. We um, we navigated the seas and we used the science of the stars, which is no different, really, from the um, the astronomy or the astrology of um, you know the science that is employed today. We just used it in our way in order to 
you know, the mathematics which is involved in building a, a seagoing waka, the scientific work that is required in building a seagoing waka of that magnitude to carry people, to carry provisions, um, to sail. Um, well, can I ask, I mean, the, I'm going to, uh, listen, I don't, I didn't, I'm not going to have an argument, but can I just say, where did, where did that technology go? Because it got Maori here, but it sure as hell didn't get them off again. I mean, they must have gone back, I'm assuming, and sailed across, against, across the wind, or against the wind, sorry, to get back. Great. But I'm, I'm interested Great. that when the Europeans come here in the 18th century, um, Maori yeah. aren't a great sea-bearing country, that they have pretty much firm roots here and they stick pretty much to the coast. Oh, that's the success of... Um, no. I've heard you. I've heard you um, debate this before, Michael. So, but um, and colonialization upon our people, and you know why are so many um, Maori kids not doing well in the um, in the mainstream education system? It's because of the effects of colonization and colonialization still impact them, and they are the pervading. Um, How does that happen? I'm sorry. I mean, the, I have a right. real difficulty with that because um, I'm, yeah. listen, my, my forebears, and I can go back only a couple of generations, went through some real trials and tribulations that atomized them and their whānau and their family, but here I am. I don't carry yeah. with me the failures of the past or of the upsets or anxieties. I look to the present and the future and say, off I go, I'm, I'm going to create my own future. I'm struggling, and I think many Europeans are, with the idea that Māori failed because something happened 150 years ago, and um, then you look at 100 years ago, the Māori Pamares, the Tarangi Haroas, the Upper Ananatas, and you go, wow, there's a Māori renaissance that seems to be a successful synthesis of both Māori um, and European, and this is 100 years ago. How did we get here? What's your answer to that? Yeah. yeah. It is um, the weight of legislation, the weight of legislation which was absolutely geared towards cementing the place of um, the Crown and um, and Europeanism in Aotearoa, and, and 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 I'm not surprised, Michael, and you know, and, and I feel aroha <coughs> for for those who you know. There are thousands of people like you who don't get it because the gravity of loss that Māori experienced was huge. It was deep. It was. In, it has been intergenerational. You lose your language, your land, your identity, your um, your sense of being, your own beliefs, and you doubt yourself. You second guess yourself. And you begin okay, well, to can, think, can, well... Okay, well, can, can you answer this one? Listen, I'm not... I'm, I'm, I'm suggesting, or I'll posit to you, that there is a, another reason why Kura Popapa succeed better for Māori students than for, for Māori students succeeding in the state system. But I'll come to that in a second. Why are only 6% of all Māori students in Kura Popapa? Why have 94% of Māori students, or Māori parents, chosen not to send their child to a Kura Popapa? Once again, that is the success of colonisation and colonialisation. What we are working on is, you know, re indigenizing to help people realise that um, they don't need to be brown-skinned Europeans. They can be brown-skinned people in New Zealand, Aotearoa, New Zealand, being themselves culturally, linguistically, spiritually, um, in are they allowed to be? That, I mean, in your view, are they? Uh, is somebody of Maori descent allowed to choose to walk the way that they want to walk? Do they have to be drawn oh, back into the Te Ao Maori no, perspective? No, absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. People can choose, and they have chosen. 